Hey guys, welcome back to the Let's Get Started channel. In this video, I will be showing you 5 more mods that you will definitely enjoy. Now, shall we get started? So, the first mod on our list is a mod called Sandwichable. You can make weird and wacky sandwiches, and you can even toast the bread with this redstone toaster that needs a redstone power. And you can make all of these weird and funny uh, cheese, uh, cheese things, tomato slices, pickled cucumbers, chopped onions, uh, cooked chicken, uh, lettuce heads, and many more. And now that you have the let- no, not the lettuce, the toasted breads, you can place it on the sandwich table, and start placing whatever you want on the sandwich. Over here, like this. And, you can even remove things from your sandwich. For example, oh, I don't want this lettuce, or oh, I don't want this slice of cheese. You can also do that. And then, you can constantly add and remove. But one thing is super important. The final piece up top has to be a piece of bread, as well as the bottom one. Now, now that you have this sandwich, you may be wondering, I have a sandwich, but how do I remove it? You click shift and right-click on the sandwich table. And now, you have a giant sandwich. I mean, look at it, it's huge. You can eat it, but... Uh, my hunger bar is... Uh... If you have the apple skin mod, you can also check the saturation of the food. Now, here's one more thing you can do with this sandwich. You can also place it down by shift-clicking on whatever surface it is. If you break it, you'll get the sandwich back. Now, I probably don't want to eat the sandwich anymore because it's been stepped on and many other things, so here you go, fishies. Now, let's move on to the next mod, shall we? Alright, the next mod is called Bamboo Tweaks. In this mod, it adds a bunch of different bamboo items, and it also adds a new variant of bamboo. This is the dried bamboo, which can be uh, obtained by putting the bamboo in the furnace. It gives you a bamboo block. Bamboo ladder, bamboo torch, bamboo door, bamboo fence, bamboo fence gate, bamboo wall, bamboo rod, and this thing, which is a bamboo spike. And it even gives you a stair. The bamboo spike deals damage, as you can see. And it, yes, it can be used to make traps. Alright, shall we continue on to the next mod? In this mod, it adds two new variants of the glass block. The glass stair, and the glass slab. You can also make different colors of glass into the stairs and the slabs. The way you make uh, the glass stair and the glass slab is by either making it in a, in a crafting table, like this, or the more cheaper way is by putting it in a, in a stone cutter and making as many as you want. Anyway, shall we continue on to the next mod? Okay, the next mod is Fabric Waystones. You know the Waystone mod in ja in Forge? Well, this is basically another one of those, but in Fabric. This mod allows you to make this Waystone using this recipe. I know the positioning isn't really wise in my part, but anyway, let's just follow it. It allows you to make these uh, Waystones, and you can change the name of it, uh, home, and then if you have unlocked the waystones like this, you can use them. Unfortunately, it costs 7 XP to do this, which I know isn't very cheap, but let's just go with it. And if you have this pocket wormhole, which costs 4 enderpearls like a diamond shape, and a nether star in the middle, and you get this pocket wormhole. You can travel anywhere using the pocket wormhole. The one complaint I have about this mod is that the minute you open this uh, scroll bar, it will sh bring you into the typing screen. And when you're there, you could have a moment where it's like, alright, I have to go somewhere, and you're holding W. But then you click on this, and then all of a sudden, you will be typing W's all over. Which honestly isn't doesn't sound that bad, but I mean, it's not that fun, so yeah. 
But otherwise, this mod is very fun to use, and it's a convenient way to get home. When, let's say, you're 50, no, 100 blocks away and you have no idea how to get back home. Yes, that has happened to me quite a bit, unfortunately. Anyway, let's continue on to the next mod, shall we? Now, the final mod of the day is called Blast, and from the name, I think you can tell what this is. In this mod, it adds a lot of different types of bombs, but it also adds one single block, the Gunpowder Block. But I think you guys don't really care about the Gunpowder Block anyway, and let's continue on with the bombs. Let's go explosions! Anyway, the Naval Bomb is a bomb that you can throw in water. It will still deal damage when it hits the water. Look at that. It will still explode. Normally, TNT oh, TNT doesn't deal damage underwater, but this naval bomb does. Naval mine does. Now, if let's say you're looking forward to more above ground explosions, you can use the bomb. The normal bomb will explode when you throw throw it down, and it will explode in a certain amount of time. And so does the golden bomb, but each higher rank it goes, the strength increases. Now, these are the trigger bombs. The trigger bombs is slightly different. It works, it explodes when the instant it touches something, meaning the instant it touches the wall, it will explode. See? The diamond bombs are my favorite because they do the most damage, but... Alright, let's continue, shall we? When let's say you're slightly bored or tired of mining, you can just place the strip miner down, and it will mine down whatever it is, wherever it's facing. So let me give you an example. You turn, you take the flint and steel, light it up, and since this is facing downwards, it'll mine a perfect 9x9 nine nine all the way down. But let's say I'm already at Y13 and I want some diamonds, so light it up, and it'll go that way. It'll make a very nice circle this way. Or, if you're trying to make an escape route, you can just turn it on, and it'll explode upwards. I mean, look at that. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. I've had enough fun with these explosions. Make sure to like and subscribe, check out my Discord group, and also don't forget to check out these mods, they're in the link in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!